don't understand. Maybe it's so clear things up. Gentlemen, we've been had. Welcome back to the Tiger Hangout. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with the Magic Square MSO4 Munitioner, and it's their take on a very G1 esque swindle. And it is masterpiece. It is very tune accurate. It looks pretty good. And I just got done reviewing the Legends, so it's still a little bit fresh, but a little rusty at the same time in my head. But I did get this at Shosey Store. I have a link down below where you can get yours too. TH Review Code helps the channel out. But let's get into taking a look at this one and take the next step into completing a masterpiece, Bruticus. Coming up. Here's the box. It is Masterpiece-ish, kind of Takara style adjacent. A little bit on the G1 side, you know what I mean? There we go with the back, and you got some sort of stuff going on right here. You don't need a decoder for all that. Anyway, packaging. All right, here is Munitioner, or Swindle, out of the package. I think he looks pretty good, actually. Uh, they've done a great job on him. and. People are talking about paint. Is it really paint or is it a clear coat? And I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is paint. Yeah, I do think it's paint. The other one uh, on the brawl, it looked more like a clear coat. But yeah, this is starting to look more like true, true paint. And that shows, goes to show, they know what they know how to paint. Maybe once we're done with this venture into Masterpiece and they can carry some of this paint forward into their Legends and do it more consistently because... Uh, this looks fantastic. I mean, I love how it looks. Is the paint kind of like Fans Toys level? No, it's not quite Fans Toys level, but it still looks really nice. And I like kind of that tune look, and which some people say is a little oversimplified. And I understand that, but I, I like that. That's just kind of me. But we'll see a comparison here in a bit because I have the MMC one, and I do like this look a whole lot better. And... With that, I also am going to be getting... I kind of get one of the MMC from each of their combiners just to check it out for the most part. I, when you put take it out of the box, you have to put this wheel on. It just tabs in with the two tabs. So that and then plugging this into his arm and then putting his gun in is really all I've done with him so far. But he looks uh, looks good. He looks the part. Uh, let's get in taking a look at paint, articulation, accessories, and then comparison. So I want to say he does have some nice purple on his eyes but it looks like a different kind of hue than what we're seeing with the plastic the paint doesn't always match the plastic because this doesn't look painted here on those parts but and even where it is painted there it's a different color it's a little bit different anyway we've got faux headlights kind of kind of that's just kind of how the toy transformed back in the day i guess i don't remember i you know i don't even have this color of the g1 in a swindle so it's kind of strange so i won't be doing a g1 comparison anymore because it's, it's they don't have the right one uh but yeah aside from just the whole thing being coated in paint the extra accents that's really all there is that's really all there is is what we got on the face and then what we have right here uh and then inside here this is a faux wheel and they've done this faux wheel and that is very cartoon and it, there's people have their hang-ups about whether we do faux wheels and that kind of stuff, faux chests, but I'm okay with it because it's kind of what you have to do to make the fantasy a reality, and that's really one of the only ways to accomplish it, so I'm, I'm pretty cool with it. All right, so we've got a face here. Uh, this is the original one it came with, which is probably not focusing very well, and I'm not able, it's not, it's Masterpiece, but it's still not a very big face. So this is kind of just a standard face, and then there's this bit of a smirk. I would view this character as needing a bit of a smirk. All right, so we've got this gun right here. It's like a small one, like a little missile launching gun, which it's come a little untabbed. And then, so it's like a little, this just like pretty much what he has the G1. Now this tabs into here, or you can just plug this into the back of that and have yourself another gun, which will work. And uh, instead of having it plugged into his arm, which I don't really like that at all. This is a lot better as a way to have another gun there. And that works. 
It's a huge gun too, but it's a throwback to what they did back in G1. And of course they wanted to make it look as G1 as possible. Toy and cartoon. All right, next to MMC, as you can see, I got this one and I thought it was okay, but I didn't like all of the, all of that going on down there. And like some people love that. That's like their happy part with it. They're like, oh yeah, it's great. It's fantastic that it's got all the line work and all the detail. This is what I've always wanted. And I've been very clear about that for a decade now. So they're giving us what I want and I'm all about it. I'm excited for it. That That is, is just uh, all I've really got to say. Now, I was thinking about putting him in Jeep mode, but even the Jeep mode still kind of carries a lot of this kind of aesthetic over. And a part of that, I think, is because it's all in one. All right, here he is next to Megatron and Optimus Prime, AP36, the Magic Square Prime, which I flaw out the most. And uh, we'll be getting a fan story Prime eventually. But looking at this, uh, the biggest problem that people have is they feel like he's too short. And I agree that he feels a little on the short side, but here's the thing. He's taller than the car bots, and he is just a limb, and he was half the size of Onslaught when he was in the G1. So I'm fine with it. I'm perfectly fine with it. But then again, I mean, as much as I love this mode, it looks great. I'm, I'm buying this for the combined mode. Here he is next to X Transbots first of their Constructicons. And I, I understand, you know, people's complaint. Maybe he should be as big as this guy. I don't 100% agree with that. But then again, I have to compare him to Brawl now because y'all will complain if I don't. So there he is next to Brawl. And uh, let's just throw fans toys in just for fun. And I, I'm just kidding around and having some fun here. But the reality is my goal is to get these in combined mode. So let's do that. Before we get into transformation, let's go ahead and bang out some quick articulation, head side to side. It goes up a lot, down very, very little. Uh, arm goes way past the 90, 360 on that hinge. Nothing there is ratcheted. Then you have uh, quite a bit of range on that elbow. And then you have three fingers, pointer finger, opposable thumb, and you can make a nice little fist and all that kind of stuff double hinge two hinges on each finger except the thumbs only got that one no it's maybe two and then we got waist swivel magic squares magical ab crunch magic square i i have to check does magic square seekers have waist swivel and ab crunch and all that i don't know because i don't have their seekers for the legends uh you can go this far out i remember feeling like it was a little restricted Oh yeah, tight, really tight. Now I don't like this. It I like that it hides the flap, but I had a I'm having a hard time getting this flap back out. Uh, I am a huge fan of the hiding hip flap, but there there we go with that right there. Uh, let's see how far we got on the knee here. Is that as far as we're going on the knee? Not a double joint on the knee. I can't remember what the Legends one. And then we have some toe movement. A little bit here and there. So you get what you want. It's pretty It's pretty decent articulation overall on this guy. All right, for transformation, we're gonna, I'm going to try to move pretty quick on this. And I, every time I say that, it takes forever to get a transformation accomplished. But uh, we have got to pop that. Let's see, flip this around, and we're going to fold this in. Am I on camera here? Okay, so we've got it looking like this. Fold this up, close this in, bring his arms up, because they're going to fold inside of this cavity here. So let's try to show that again. And pop that down like so. Flip this around, um, fold, fold this in, fold this up, and then that's all going to go in there like so, and then we're going to get this up here sort of out of the way. Then we are going to get in here. We need to open up 
this upper section here so lift that up so this comes down and let me try to make sure I feel like I'm not in frame there we go fold this stuff here out and down pull this up and then we need to get this out of here which can be a bit of a challenge you can push with your finger to the back close that up and so we're forming more or less this but these need to stay out because it's all gonna do some stuff we're gonna lift this here up uh, open this and then we need to fold these these pieces need to go down so we're going to pull the head out disconnect it from these pieces because ultimately those pieces are going to tuck in there so I guess turn his head to the side there and now this slides up so that you can fold these pieces in all right so getting into this next step here I want to show that two things first off we're gonna we're gonna spin this around and then you see how you can see the wheel there so that's the correct configuration I don't know how I transferred them both what I thought was the same way did one right and one wrong so pull this out we need to make them both match this this configuration here and it has to do with the way the hinge works and how it's gonna fit underneath the hood so that is very important so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this over and under and we're gonna kind of try to you can move it a little bit to the side to get it all the way in here but it has to have that correct configuration and then flatten this side piece here out same thing on the other side we're going to fold this around and get it in there and it takes a little bit of movement finagling this to get it to go in like it should and then push it through there and it's almost there it's almost there so when we shut that down the head will tuck into here so that's how that's going to work okay now we've got that pretty much solved now we need to come around here and fold this up and this is gonna tab into the hood like so and then this is gonna come up on the sides and tab in like so and then this comes out and then we roll the wheel down and there's a, a tab and a slot to get the wheel in place and the wheel will still roll so that's that's some good stuff there see you can see the slot for the wheel there it is and then we'll finish this part out here straightening that up and then we have this steering wheel that we can get out and so we're getting another step closer right, let's get a little bit different angle on this next thing we need to do is we do the rotating like we always do about this time of the legs the hip waist piece and the legs so we need to just start on tabbing a bunch of stuff here and it tabs in pretty dang good they've done a good job with the tabbing there's a mushroom tab on that that we need to get out pop that one out right there and then there are some other tabs holding this on so it's uh some it's pretty tight and it's pretty good because it holds solid but it it always feels like you're breaking something when you're trying to untab all of this you can move that out of the way to help get a little bit of leverage on this there it goes 
All right, there is a lot going on here. So let's clear up a little space, some working space here, and make sure we got enough room there. All right, so we kind of bring this down and we want to pull this out. And the goal here is to bring this wheel around. This comes, this whole mechanism needs to come around here. And so with that, this, this part back here slides up and locks into place. The wheel goes into place and then this is going to flip all the way around eventually as we get the rest of this stuff accomplished here now from here i think i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself we need to push this the knee to the back spot this is going to come up here and tab in like so and then we're getting that part out of the way right there and then the foot's going to come in and go down like this and that's going to go in Put that tab in nice and good there tabbed in nice and good we need to fold this piece up and it's going to flip around so it's it's kind of just a whole bunch of coming up and flipping around that is going on with this thing and keeping it in perspective which i probably need to go up a little higher to keep it in perspective here but as you can see it's starting to form what it needs to form to make all this happen. And then bring this around. There's a tab right here, a tiny tab that needs to come out so that we can form the back of it. So now we need to kind of close it all up. I'm going to close this hip flap. Let's make sure we're aligned just right. That's going to tab into there. And we're going to just start tabbing all this stuff in. Fold this around. This will tab into the foot. Right there. Got to get that aligned just right. So I'm tabbing that into the foot. And then make sure this tabs to the side there. And then we're tabbing all of this other stuff in. There's the slot, there's the tab. It's got to, once you start tabbing it, it just all starts aligning correctly, theoretically. We just do that all along. And then this is going to go into the side here. Then this tabs into the bottom. in here and there we go the foot one came undone a little bit but that's getting one done you got this piece here so we have the seat there it is kind of <laughs> we got to do the other side and i'm gonna film that separately decide if i have enough time to put that in but i'm still gonna film that part all right Fill in the second side. I might just put this one, it might go a little nicer. <laughs> Do one leg or the other, you know, kind of thing. Anyway, let's get all of this stuff untabbed. We can move the foot down out of the way. Gives you a little bit more leverage to get this up. This is gonna rotate out. Pull this up. There we go. That's getting this out of the way so that we can rotate this all the way up fold the wheel and tab that wheel in slide this up tab that in and then we are going to mess with this foot fold it around down tab it in and then we've got this which actually will rotate all the way around but we need to take the inside that splits and we are going to push the knee back, which it seems like it, it already aligns for me, but it's something you're supposed to do. 
And then we're going to tab it in and I say it aligns and then hey, where's, where's the light at? It tabs in if you get it aligned just right with the leg there. There it goes. That looks right. This does still flip around. Let's go that direction with it. I'm hanging up on something here. This is going to fold around too. It's a lot of flipping around with this leg here. Oh yeah, it's hanging up because I didn't take the seat out. That's what's hanging it up. And as you can see, it's starting to form the car. I like to keep it all in perspective. It's pretty simple there. Let's, in the back, we're going to, we're going to pull this out and it's going to tab in, but we need to get this filler piece out and then we are going to tab this together for the filler piece I don't know if it's easier to tab what's easier to tab in first but this does tab together and then this tabs into the back of back there with the foot so there's a tab here a slot there tab that in and then we're going to start tabbing all the rest of this together. As I open the hip flap, you got to close that now that we're going to start closing this all up. We got to close the hip flap down. We just hide it open for some extra space to work. And I'm just going to start closing it all up. And since we have the luxury of the first side being done, we can use that as just another place for some more pressure. Tab that in. We have a slot here, here, and then on the top. So let's tab all of these tabs in. Press down. And then this is going to tab into here. And then the bottom, which just kind of ends up folding over on its own anyway, tabs in. And then the tabs for the, they should still stay tabbed together. As I tab one thing in, something else pops out, but that's kind of sometimes how it goes. That's got to be a really tight connection because that's, a, it really is important because this is where it connects to the foot. So that has to be a tight connection there. There are two mushroom tabs right here. Arr. And we're almost done here. This connects into here. Now, we just kind of tabbed it, but it I remember being able to wiggle it in on the on the legends like that. So that's you kind of wiggle it in there and slide it. And then we need to plug this into here. with a lot of force. And then we need to plug this, close that handle up. And there's a tab on the bottom of the handle to plug into here. And then, then we have the faux wheel, spare tire. Let me tell you about the spare tire. There we go. Now that spare tire actually solidifies that whole rear end. So here it is in the alt mode and you know things never change for seven years i've been doing this and it's, it's like 10 seconds off camera i've got everything exactly how i feel it should be and it's just ha, not having the camera on the way made it's so much easier to just tighten everything up now one of the things i missed was there's a tab that tabs into the hip those two tabs and tabs into the hip I knew it was a super solid joint in the Legends. I thought, I was like, man, that's, that's super solid once it all comes together. But I was missing that there's a tab that's got a tab in the hip. So it wasn't fully tabbing into those pieces. So that's important. Very important. And if you really push down on those two and get that all in there. But it's a nice, nice looking alt mode. And I, now I almost wish I had one of my hounds in alt mode to compare it to. But it looks really good. It rolls. 
And that's the weird thing. Like this faux fake wheel, like if the fold in half wheel, I've seen that on other ones and I can't think of, uh, I think that is on Hound. I think Hound does that too. But that that's uh, really, really kind of cool. You do see some of the kibble on the bottom, but from this angle, you almost don't notice it all. And I bet you there's room to stick like a spike in there or something. I'm not really gonna mess with all that, but this looks really, really good. I mean, the vintage, the vintage, the legends, the legends one looked really, really good, but uh, this just because it's masterpiece and it's bigger, it just feels, I don't know, it feels right. It feels really good, like really good. I, I gotta say, Magic Squares. And they can upscale pretty much anything at this point, and if they do it this well, it's that's really amazing. Uh, the transformation, it's not ridiculous or anything. I think it is smoother and easier than the Legends version was, the Masterpiece one. But yeah, let's uh, let's look at a, a couple of things on this. It does carry over that clear headlights, which is kind of cool. It's kind of nice. I like that. The, fo the seat where it's, it's so ingenious to have just that little bit there, and then it looks like that's part of the seat also. And then it gets into the purple. I mean, that is so cool. The, the little uh, steering wheel is pretty good. This is really, really uh, a, a great job they've done here. So fan, fantastic. And then articulating these when that moves back and forth. So really, really good stuff. And it is frosted on the windshield, but I, that's fine with me. I mean, every, every aspect of this looks pretty good. Uh, maybe one thing would be if it was blue, like to follow Takara, but I guess they're just like, hey, we don't care about Takara. They're an odd factor to us. And so we'll fill the gaps, but yeah, looking pretty good. All right, let's try to optimize our time here for comparisons. Ha 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 ha. That's how he is next to uh, MP10. No, Magic Square. But MP10 size wise, about the same. And then uh, we got the cup from X Transbots. And there's MMC and fans toys. Yeah, fun stuff. The X Trans Bots combiner here. And we have the fans toys, their sweeps or their scourge. Yeah, it's supposed to be smaller and all that. Now we need to get this thing into its alt mode here or the combined mode. So we're going to split this, which kind of brings all this out and you can fold this in bring this back down tab all it back in come in here and plug in your wheel fold this down I think I I, I don't think it really matters but you can you could uh, fold away the seats maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you fold away the seats or not. I'll have to look into that, but let's get into inserting this. Insertus! It's insertus. Make sure I got it set up right. And if I remember with the Legends one, uh, it was a kind of a pain to get this in here just right. But what you're going to do is there's the slot there's the tab and you just kind of put it on there and you crunch it but I'm going to do a little finesse off camera all right I think what might make this if you run into any trouble on that might make it a little bit helpful if you put once if if it's not just pop popping on easy for you put one side this side it was a little bit of trouble so once I put it on itself and then I put this one on by itself then I put them both on and it worked. So uh, at first they wouldn't both go on at the same time. And so I had to do one at a time. Got to figure out something on those seats though, but uh, tighten this stuff here up again. And then this piece here, you're going to see it tabs into here, the slot. And got to get it tabbed in good. So it'll hold. Ugh. And we got our foot. So here's the leg mode and referring to my Legends one, duh, some basic questions. I, why did I forget that? There we go. There we go. And it looks pretty good. Let's do the comparison to the Legends. You can see how much smaller that is than this. This was the, like the brawl picture that everybody wanted. Uh, 
right when the brawl came out was how big is the leg compared to the combiner so there it is and yeah it translates over almost exactly it's really really close and yeah looking at it i probably need to tighten this area up just a little bit more somehow but it's going to be a really clean looking leg this is a nice shot here so it looks pretty good that's a pretty good looking leg and you can see where it's going to go and how it's going to be and yeah these have the silver feet gray feet i don't have a problem with that at all a lot of people do some people do and i the, i've got the upgrade kit coming so i will have options so i can do whatever i want but i probably will just leave this but i, I think the chest piece is what i want the most in the cartoon accurate version but there it is that's what it looks like let's kind of also see the difference between what's going on with magic square and the fans toys and fans toys is bigger because it's it's engineered in the thigh to their devastator that's going to be a beast though and uh yeah both of these we're in the next generation of combiners and it's pretty awesome all right that's my look at the swindle i'm not surprised i'm a little bit on little tempted to buy a second one just to have it in bot mode i don't want the whole team but i don't know i like swindle for some reason and just like i like the mmc one but i might just keep the mmc and just leave the mmc there but i, I too like the look the tune look is for me guys it's just the way it is but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i do have a link to where you can get this shows you store probably the cheapest around and th viewer code helps the channel out like subscribe that air hanger out